What a wonderful world, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to football. Better be with me. <laughs> Your host, Jan. I uh, hope you did well, mate. I really do hope that. Welcome back to Chelsea News, of course, the daily series here on this channel where I see what's being said about Chelsea. Ooh, giving you my opinion for it, for whatever that's worth, mate. But more importantly, asking for yours. Christopher Nkuku has agreed to join Chelsea. Leipzig have apparently agreed to sell him to Chelsea. This is further along than we thought. It is David Ornstein's inside knowledge versus Fabrizio Romano's. Oh, I don't know so much, mate. Lots to get into today. It's going to be a fun one. Thank you for joining me. Please do consider dropping a like on the ting. It's very, very sweet of you, mate. You just click a button and it makes me feel good. So thank you for that. You're welcome to subscribe. And should you choose to do so, hit that sweet, sweet bell, baby. Yeah, yeah. Spitch, baby, spitch. This video is brought to you by Spitch. A fun fantasy football that won't trigger you like the other mainstream one because Spitch utilizes Optus stats, mate. That's right, it rewards you for knowing about football and you don't have to commit to a whole season so when you forget that one weekend, you don't have to make yourself feel real bad about it. It is free to play, but it's 18 plus because you can wage your money on it and, you know, make them sweet, sweet peas off your footballing knowledge. Mate, just go check out Spitch. Click the link in the top of the description. Easy for me to say. Click the link in the top of the description. Do yourself the favor. Check out Spitch now. Oh. And we're back in the studio, apparently, with a delayed transitional animation. So, here's the situation, man. Christopher and Cuckoo, early mid-twenties, French man, was at PM, PSG, of course. Didn't like working with Tuchel, but we don't have Tuchel now. He was sold to RB Leipzig, where he exploded, scored loads of goals, playing up front, attacking midfield, all over the gaff, got onto the France national team, often starts up front next to Karim Benzema and Kylian Mbappe. Très, très bon. This is the kind of, like, quality we're talking about here. Naturally, people have reservations because they're seeing a forward playing for Leipzig, scoring loads of goals. That looks like he's coming to Chelsea, and we're all having Timo Werner PTSD. Now, this is not a Timo Werner bashing exercise. I'm not about that. But one thing, for sure, is I can understand people's concerns, but the thing is with Christopher and Cuckoo, he's very technically gifted, more so than Timo Werner. Sure, he might score transitional goals like Werner did, Werner missed a lot of chances as well. Werner's high-octane explosivity? Is that a word? It might be. Got him into the position and often being in the positions he scored goals. Christopher Nkuku is more technically gifted. Therefore, we can all feel more positive about this. Now, of course, we've reported on this story recently about how he had this medical, this secret medical with Chelsea. And, um, you know, all the journalists jumped on it. And Fabrizio Romano was very quick to say, look, guys, a deal is not done. Chelsea have the edge, but a deal is not done. But a Nornstein dagger, which is pretty much saying it's agreed. Nkuku to Chelsea is agreed. That's the headline in his column today, which we're going to read in a moment. Agreed, mate. And you know what? Ornstein is top tier for Chelsea. Ben Jacobs has been good. He was great over the um, the transition of ownership. Like He knew a lot about that. But in terms of knowing what's actually going on behind the scenes with transfers, Ornstein's the GOAT for me. It, with the new ownership at Chelsea, I think he's the one with the closest in. And I, I genuinely put him above, like, Matt Law, who used to have great ins. Um, I, I, I feel like Ornstein's the one. And where you got Fabrizio Romano saying, nah, it's not, it's not agreed. He's come and said, he's never been wrong as well, Ornstein. He's saying it is agreed. So we're going to read this now, the Chelsea part of his column. And, uh, yeah, man, let's see what he has to say. If anybody anticipated Chelsea's new owners taking a rest once the transfer window closed, <laughs> think again, mate. Since the market shut on September the 1st, the Todd Bowley Clearlake Group has changed managers, intensified their sporting director search, and lined up a deal to secure one of Europe's elite forwards next summer. Now, some people are speculating that this could even happen in January, but if all of you are saying next summer, we'll have to see. News emerged last week that Chelsea have moved for Christopher Nkuku with RB Leipzig player undergoing medical tests prior to a proposed move for the next season. There has been some conjecture <laughs> as to the status of the situation. That yeah, is essentially Fabrizio Romano saying, nah, it's just, you know, they've got an edge. The deal's not done. There's no agreement. But the Athletic is told Nkuku has actually signed a pre-contract agreement 
with the West Londoners and the Premier League side have committed to paying the German Bundesliga counterparts a price in excess of the 24-year-old 60 million uh, euro release clause, which is 52.7 pounds. God, the pound is worth butthole now, isn't it? Release clause. So, what do we learn from that before we read on? We're paying slightly over the odds for the release course to make sure he comes to Chelsea. So RB Leipzig are inclined to sell him to Chelsea rather than, you know, have his release clause activated and for him to go elsewhere. And the player himself has signed a pre-agreement. So the player's down. Chelsea, look, man, you would, from what we're hearing here, you'd put the ruddy farm on Christopher and Cuckoo coming to Chelsea and signing for Chelsea. He scores many a goal, he assists many a goal, he's like an auxiliary forward. Uh, we can talk about who's gonna leave because it's just as tricky, man. Like, Chelsea have many attackers and they've all many, you know, meant to have a second chance under the new management of Graham Potter and co. Well, we've signed Aubameyang, Bruyer wants to come in, you know, Gallagher's kind of a midfielder, I get it, but like, what, you know, what's happening here? We'll talk about that in a second. With the clause not offering, uh, excuse me, with the clause not coming into effect until after the campaign is over, Chelsea's spending a higher figure to secure Nkuku in advance, oh, they are spending that higher figure, and avoid a potentially intense battle for his services. Hmm. Well, he's also agreed to join Chelsea. By the way, him signing a pre-agreement with Chelsea I don't think that legally binds him to definitely signing for Chelsea. Like, if Man City came along and said, we'll pay you a million pounds a week, he probably could say, okay. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. Sources close to the matter say Chelsea have overcome competition, though, including from other leading English teams. Oh, maybe he has said no to Man City. To make the eight cap. He's only made eight caps. I feel like, well, I suppose so. He's only just risen to sort of power. God, he sounds like a... <laughs> dictator when I said that um eight cap France international a fundamental part of the rebuild going on at Stamford Bridge mm. that work on a new look Chelsea is expected to continue with the appointment of a sporting director given Bowley is occupying the role on an interim basis alongside his responsibilities as co-owner and chairman this guy is doing nothing for the Dodgers at the moment is he <laughs> his life must be like fully consumed with Chelsea Following unsuccessful attempts to install former Liverpool executive Michael Edwards mm, and later Christoph Freund of Red, Bull, of Red Bull Salzburg, of course we thought Freund was through the door, numerous other candidates have been linked to the position. A range of second round meetings with possible choices are scheduled to take place this week. Wow, Chelsea are moving very, very fast in terms of getting a sporting director. On Nkuku though, the way I... This looks like it's going to be done as far as I'm concerned. And the way I'm looking at it and the way I'm thinking is, right, Hakim Ziyech she's probably out of here. I, you know, I, I, I mean, he's a great player. I genuinely like him. If you watch my content, you'll know that. I've always reiterated I like his swagger. I like his arrogance. I like his natural ability. I think he's unique in the team. The fact that he hasn't been utilized uh, in that Premier League game, we did have a sub. I don't know if he was on the bench. I can't remember. Maybe he's rested after his internationals. I don't know, man. You know, Hudson Adoy is on loan at um, Bayer Leverkusen. He's, of course, I think Todd Bowley really likes him. So you'd expect him to come back next summer. So who's going to be our attackers next summer? Aubameyang. Bruya. Ah. <laughs> Hold on. And Cuckoo, because he signs. Hudson Adoy. Kai Havertz. That's five already. That's a lot in there. And that is saying. Sorry, well, and then what's going on with Pulisic and Ziesch? Um, it's too many. It's too many, man. I mean, L Lukaku, hot dog, he ain't coming back, is he? He's gonna have a second year loan at Inter. So let's say Ziyech goes. Pulisic, obviously, come off the bench, look quite good, and there's talk about him training hard and being utilised well. It's the same old problem, isn't it? So many attackers into... Granted, if we play a back four formation, there might be scope for getting another attacker on the pitch. But to be honest, it's probably scope for getting another midfielder on the pitch. Which is great, because I said, I think, in yesterday's video, it suits more our more, like, number eight players. You know, in terms of if we play two number eights with a midfield three, you know, suits Gallagher down to a T, suits Mason Mount down to a T, suits Ruben Loftus-Cheek down to a T. And in terms of ball progressives that can occupy those space... Kante and Kovacic down as well. Great, but it still leaves you with a front three and like seven plus players to get into that three. Granted, 
we are uh, playing four competitions and try and go deep into those four competitions. And granted, this season, there's the five substitute rule, which generally gives you a lot of, you know, chance. And if you're losing a game, you might change up to, you know, make five attacking subs. You might change the front three and you might change two midfielders for like more offensive style players. So I guess people will get more of a chance. And of course, Christopher and Cuckoo to talk about him for a little bit. He's so tactically versatile. And that's generally what we've been looking at for a long time at Chelsea. You can play anywhere along the front three, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Maybe in a number 10 as well in a 4-2-3-1. So you could probably occupy four positions along the front. But the most important thing about Christopher and Cuckoo here is this is an attacking signing from the new ownership. They got to Chelsea, Todd Bowley and Clear Lake, and they were disappointed and quite frankly shocked, if we are to believe reports, that Chelsea, though they did have some data on players, they it was really low and like disappointing and they didn't have enough data. So they've come in, they've brought all their American-based data-led ideas and indeed medical people, of course, flying players out to America to get their medicals now or bringing in American people to Frankfurt to do a medical on Cuckoo. They're implementing their whole infrastructure or certainly trying to translate it to European football from American sports and, you know, with the appropriate guidance, of course. And um, Nkuku, I guess, would represent, look, we've analysed this guy. We've obviously consulted our manager, Graham Potter. Look, this is his profile. This is his numbers. This is his style. Can you make this work with the great grand plan that we've been talking about, Graham? That's Todd Bowley talking to Graham there. Graham would have probably said yes. Here if my blessing, sign Christopher and Cuckoo. He suits the grand project of data and domination and hopefully winning football matches in the Todd Bowley Clear Lake era of Chelsea. Hopefully. Anyway, look, man, he's a sick player, isn't he? He scores loads of goals. He's a European exciting elite player. He's one of he's probably like on the mark. He's probably like what top six exciting players to buy. He's another one coming to Chelsea. Fafana for me was like my number one choice for a centre back. It looks, you know, we got him. It looks like we're going to get in Cuckoo as well. We've got other sick players. Cucurea was a bit of a hipster's choice, but certainly highly rated. All the signings we've made are good. We're still probably going to sign an elite midfielder. Making serious moves, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. But of course, I want to put it out to you guys. See what you have to say for yourselves out there in the world of football fandom. Comment down below, man. Tell me your thoughts. Uh, I, I look forward to reading your comments. I always do. It's good fun. And lots of you have good stuff to say. So thank you for that. And uh, thank you for dropping a like and supporting the content. Subscribing uh, if you want to. And should you choose to do so, hitting that sweet bell. Uh, yeah, man. I thank you all for joining me today here in the Stamford Bridge studio for Chelsea News. And I look forward to seeing you guys very soon. Peace.